In what could be a groundbreaking development in the search for alien life, Indian origin astrophysicist Nika Madhusudhan and his team have detected potential signs of life outside our solar system. Using NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, researchers observed atmospheric gases on exoplanet K218b, gases that, on Earth, are produced only by living organisms. Specifically, they found dimethyl sulfide and dimethyl disulfide, compounds generated primarily by marine phytoplankton, a form of microbial life. The discovery was made while studying the exoplanet located 124 light years away in the constellation Leo. K218b is nearly 8.6 times the mass of Earth and about 2.6 times wider. Confidence we have is at a 99.7%, which means there is still a 0.3% chance that this could be a statistical fluke. But in scientific discoveries, especially like a discovery like this, which is completely game-changing for science and transforming our understanding of the universe, we want to be absolutely sure because it affects science and society in so many ways. So we want to go to a five sigma level where we want to make sure that there is less than one in a million chance of it being a statistical fluke. And then, even if we detect the molecule, it's very, it will be very good news that uh, that molecule is there, and it will be a very good sign of life, but we still want to do more experiments, theoretical work, to make absolutely sure that that sign is uniquely from life as it is on Earth, and not from some other process that we may not even have thought of so far. It lies in the habitable zone around a red dwarf star, a region where conditions might allow for liquid water to exist. These chemical signatures were detected in surprisingly high concentrations, more than 10 parts per million, a thousand times higher than what we find in Earth's atmosphere. According to Madhusudhan, such levels cannot be explained without invoking biological activity, at least based on our current scientific understanding. However, the researchers are clear, this is not a confirmation of alien life. Rather, it's a possible biosignature, a sign that biological processes might be taking place. The team is urging caution and stressing the need for repeated observations to confirm the signal's validity and rule out non-biological explanations. The planet itself is classified as a sub-Neptune and might be what scientists call a Hycean world, covered in a global ocean and surrounded by a hydrogen-rich atmosphere, potentially ideal for microbial life. It was observed using the transit method, where the telescope analyzes starlight filtering through a planet's atmosphere as it passes in front of its host star. These new observations build on previous findings. Webb had already detected methane and carbon dioxide in K218b's atmosphere, the first time such carbon-based molecules were found in a habitable zone exoplanet. This time, another instrument, operating at a different wavelength, strengthened the signal for DMS. Given the magnitude of result, any investment of time and effort we make in this is totally justified, because if it holds true, that will change uh, our view of the universe forever, right? So the sky that we look at today is a physical sky, physical objects, planets, stars, galaxies. But if you find that this is actually true, it is due to life, then what you'd be looking at is a living sky. And that's a major transformation to, the, uh, to us as a species. So, so we want to make sure we do everything we can to, make, to, to establish that you know, we don't make an early claim of life without doing our due diligence. Astrophysicist Madhusudhan calls this the closest we've come yet to detecting possible life on another world. But he also notes that the holy grail of exoplanet science is still finding life on a truly Earth-like planet, something Webb and future telescopes may be able to pursue more effectively. Until then, the discovery marks a significant step. From Mars to Europa, scientists have long been looking for signs of life within our own solar system. But now, we might be inching closer to answering the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? For now, the signal from K218b represents hope and a big if. More data, more verification, and more rigorous testing will follow. And that would also inform uh, how life originated here on Earth, which is still an open question. So if we can observe many planets with different conditions when whether or not they have life, we could potentially piece together the puzzle of how actually and under what conditions life emerged here on Earth. So that's the scientific uh, aspect. But more on a societal level, I think the fundamental transformation that has to happen and will happen uh, amongst our species, humans, some sooner than others, is that for once we'll realize that we are all representation of the same planet. We are, we are one entity. Uh, and, and that in my personal view, that should bring us all together as, as a society, as a civilization.